I'm Doj. I'm Doc. Uh, Silage and <laughs> Orifice. Two IR. Trioxide. Ogre. And why have you got all these different nicknames? So you don't know who we are. <laughs> why? Who's out to get you? Sydney Water, the police. Any, if they could actually find out who we were, they might be able to crack down us. Um, it is a $20,000 fine just for entering this drain, so you're breaking the law right now. So do you think that the security was after you then? No, no, I, I knew they were just, uh, we were just running to make you scared. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. I think there was a train coming past above, so there's a nice big rumble. But that's sort of what it sounds like when it does start raining. And stuff. In Melbourne, they've actually started up a uh, dob in a drainer campaign. It's just a sort of scare tactic, because there's no way you're going to remember. You know, if she saw someone in a drain, even if you do, you don't know who they are, so... Why are they so worried about people walking through drains? Oh, no, it's a much larger thing. You get a lot more of the general populace going through drains as opposed to just us. Whereas in Sydney, I mean, hardly anybody goes down these things except the odd graph artists who go 100 metres down and before storming. Now, have you ever come down here when a storm's been around? Um, no, we try to avoid drains when it's, uh, when it's raining. Um, I have been caught in a drain when it was raining and it was rather scary. We got out of there. We white water rafted through the Darling Harbour storm drain. We covered from um, Elizabeth Street in Surrey Hills to underneath the entertainment centre in about a minute and a quarter, a minute and a half maybe. You, uh, you took a raft down there? Uh, about nine of us took nine rafts, r rafts intending on just floating out of the last tidal section of the drain. But it started raining while we were blowing the boats up so we just thought, oh, we'll just jump in now instead of, you know, when we reached the tidal limit under the entertainment centre. And it was fun. However, a bit of equipment got ruined, uh, cameras, and um, further down in the actual tidal section when we were up to our necks in water, a couple of the boats sprung leaks, and a couple of people ended up swimming uh, as opposed to, um, you know, floating out. And what kind of animals do you see down here? Albino cockroaches, which is what you seem to like. Uh, primarily um, cockroaches, you get a lot of them. Eels you get in drains that are, that are, that are connected to, to either rivers or to the harbour by, you know, tides or whatever. Quite a few drains with bats in them, uh, mainly small bats. Uh, a lot of spiders, although nothing larger than the average daddy long legs, because anything larger than that can't really survive. Occasionally you get turtles, occasionally, very rarely you get rats. Um, frogs, a lot of frogs. You know, most types of wildlife you'll see down here. Cats, feral cats, um, ducks, you know, all sorts. And any other humans? There's a drain in, in uh, the eastern suburbs that has a, a bloke living in it, and he's been there for about five or six years now. And when we go into it, he tends to, you know, make a bit of a noise and complain, but we just try and keep it out of his way. Um, I've, all of us have at least run into at least one person down there, either, some, either homies or, or people searching for money. These things look like stalagmites here or something. Yeah, stalactites actually we got hanging off the roof. Uh, they're just calcium deposits. Um, the water seeps down from above, gets through little cracks, and you get lines of uh, stalactites hanging down. What can uh, down here tell you about a city? It tells you what the city's built on, like the fact that we're standing underneath uh, sandstone at the moment. Um, it tells you what sort of stuff people chuck down drains. You get a kilometre down a drain, you find a car engine, and you think, you know, who's the idiot to put that down a canal? Uh, a lot of garbage and stuff, you know. If somebody steals someone's wallet, they invariably throw it down a, a drain, and we usually end up finding all these empty wallets. You find large rocks, and you wonder how they got down here. Um, this particular drain, I've actually seen six to seven foot long eels in, with heads that are about, I don't know, a foot and a half across big eels. It's actually the most garbage I've ever seen in this drain. That's something that we actually do is um, there are garbage traps and stuff down here and um, we usually open them up just for fun but it sort of does um, help out the drain and stuff because the garbage traps are suddenly not so clogged. So there you go, you've got water flowing. And what we're doing at the bottom, there's holes that just sort of touch everything that's that's bigger than them, obviously. And we're just sort of cleaning them out and watching all the, the water come out. So anything that goes down a gutter, anywhere 
along the course of this drain gets washed into it and then eventually washed into the river. It's going to be stressed though. Though we don't just do drains, we yeah, do yeah, that's bridge, what I was, that's bridge why rooms, I was. like concrete bridge rooms and the inside structures of, of, of bridges, cable tunnels, electricity tunnels, um, disused power stations, disused factories, everything that's you know, you're not supposed to get into, we check them out and have a look around. Air conditioning tunnel. And we don't do sewers. Yes, yeah. Mr. Mr. Munro, Mr. if you're Mike listening, Monroe. we do not do sewers and we are not a species. Yeah, Thank we're not you. some whack ass species. <laughs> Members of the Cave Clan, making sure Mr. Mike Munro gets it right next time, be the first time, he mentions the Cave Clan on a current affair and they were speaking with Steve Canane. And remember what the Cave Clan does is illegal and you could end up with a $20,000 fine or worse, in bad weather, get injured or killed. So we don't recommend it necessarily. And if you want to see some of the photos, though, of the Cave Clan and their work that they're taking in Sydney's underground, check out their website, www.caveclan.com.